And again, take this with a very small, small pinch of thin salt. I'm not an expert in math or statistics or anything of the sort. I'm making my best educated guess with what little knowledge I have on the subject matter or on any of it. What is the highest stage that you've managed to beat in the new event dungeon, the Odin boss, the Fey Father? I'm running it right now. I'm about 205 multi battles in. There is word, or I've been hearing rumors, I don't know the veracity behind them, about a possible 2 or 3x coming up for this dungeon. I'm, I'm assuming it's something similar to like the 2x or 3x Savage events for um, like Fire Knight, but I'm assuming it's going to be something similar to that here in the Odin uh, dungeon for Pinpoint. I kind of have an uh, idea already of what people are able to do. Most of you guys in the comments are right around here. 20 to 29 with uh, guys on the higher end who are, you know, just either either have like more experience or bigger accounts or, or whales. Not too many people are doing 30. And one question I see often is, is it even worth it? Is it worth uh, jumping all the way to um, like here? Look at this. Can anyone tell me if this dungeon is even worth farming at 20? I'm assuming that until 25, the drop rates must be the same as any other gear dungeon. Mythicals probably drop from 26. And I think, yeah, I think from 26 and up, something like that, you can get mythicals because I have a mythical or two pinpoint on my main account here. This is my wife's account, by the way, running stage 15. And it just ended. 206 battles. I dropped five, uh, 5,768 energy on it. And what I wanted to do was go ahead and... I don't know. I don't even know how to like find the statistics for any of this stuff. You know how like Ty did that video where he was he was showing what the drop rates were. I don't even know how to go about doing that. I'm assuming I, I was just gonna like count up all this shit and like ChatGPT it, but I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like we're getting a, a significant amount of pinpoint gear, right? This looks pretty nice, but the real question is how much of this is actually going to be useful. And there were a couple of teams here that I wanted to showcase that I thought were really interesting. Um, this, this is pretty, uh, well, that's nuts to begin with. So there's that. Saurus, actually, this is a pretty nice team here. Uh, two minutes, 18 seconds, average about two minutes, probably. Really solid. I like it. And look, there's a mythical uh, boot coming from stage 30. It's only five stars, though. Mithrala in the lead, I'm assuming for survivability. A little bit of extra damage with her A1 and petrification with her A2, the hex, right? Supreme Gaelic is going to be doing the bulk of the damage here with this HP burns. He places block buffs as well. Lydia to block revives, decrease defense and weaken. Tormund for some CC, extra damage from Brimstone, but it looks like only one or two popped off probably, if, if, if that. And then Saurus, stun set Saurus. Counterattack, counterattack masteries and gear and you keep the ads stunned. So those are some pretty interesting teams that I've been seeing. Uh, I've been on a quite quite a binge, honestly, trying to uh, go about doing this. So uh, I'm gonna get back to you guys with, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I can count up how many pinpoint accessories I've, or how many pinpoint pieces of gear I've ended up with. And again, take this with a very small, small pinch of thin salt. I'm not an expert in math or statistics or anything of the sort. I'm making my best educated guess with what little knowledge I have on the subject matter or on any of this. I, you know, it's just kind of my own personal thing right now where I want to know what the what the exact drop rates are. I don't know how to do this stuff, but you know, I'm trying to give myself some semblance of of guidance as to everything that's going on here because the information doesn't seem to be out there and i'm trying to find that information with the best way that i know how so stage 15 we got three blue shards 301 artifacts and 113 accessories okay all of these are going to be pinpoint because no other artifacts or no other accessories were dropping and out of 305 artifacts 51 of those were pinpoint pieces of the of the pinpoint pieces nine were helmets or nine were weapons 12 were helmets seven were shields 12 were gauntlets four were chests and seven were boots of these i only got one six star 
35 five stars and 15 four star artifacts. Of those, nine were epics, only one of them was a Lego, and 41 of those were rares. Of the pinpoint accessories, we have 34 rings, 41 amulets, and 38 banners. Of those, 86 were blues, 22 were purples, and five of those were Legos. 44 of those being four stars, 62 being five stars, and seven of those being six stars. So with that in mind, I went to ChatGPT, because the AI knows better than I do, and I asked what the percentage rates for all of these were. So it was telling me that out of the 301 artifacts that dropped, and 51 being pinpoint, the percentage drop rate based on this very, 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 very small sample size, the drop rate was around 17%. Of those, and again, I don't know why I need to know this, I just want to know this as best as I, I can for some reason. I don't think it's gonna change anything, but because um, I'm still gonna farm this dungeon because it, it just seems good right now. Weapons. 17%, helms, 23%, shields, 13%, gauntlets, 24, 23.5, uh, chest, 7, and boots, 13.73%. Does this feel about right to you guys? Are you guys looking at this and saying, yeah, that, that seems about right? Like, I'm I'm getting more helmets and gauntlets than I am getting chest pieces. Chest pieces. Or here, are you guys seeing that uh, anybody doing stage 15 or... If you can resonate this with any of the other stages that you're running, does this make sense? Six stars, about a 2% drop. Five stars, almost 70%. And then uh, four star being around uh, 30%. Does this feel about right to you guys? And then of those pinpoint artifacts, epics, 17, almost 18% Lego artifacts, 2% again. And then rares being 80%. Does that seem about right to you? Percentage rates for each of the um, accessory types and accessory rarities. You're looking at around 30% for the rings, 36% for the amulets, and then banners around 33%, which, I mean, it seems kind of just about right, right? Because, you know, there's only three different accessories. Of those rarities, of course, of course, we're getting more rares. So 76% epics, about 20%, and then on a the low end, um, five, a 4.42% with the Lego gear. In terms of the the rank, four stars, we're getting mostly, let's see, 38.94%. And then five stars, we're getting a lot of five stars, actually. 54.87%, and then six stars, of course, on the low end, at 6.19%. The percentage drop rate for pinpoint artifacts, it calculated everything, adding up the artifacts, accessories, and the three shards, total of 417 drops and it, div it divided 51 by 417, then multiplied it by 100. Uh, by that percentage, 12.23% for me, for pinpoint artifacts. For pinpoint accessories, of course, there's only, it's, it's at 27.1%. This is probably flawed data. You don't want to follow this, but I don't know, maybe this gives you some sort of direction. This also kind of makes sense, right? The artifacts, you're competing with like five other sets. There's a total of six sets that you can that you can um, pick up pick up in the in the dungeon, right? There's a let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. You have a chance to get these, but here you only have a chance to get the the pinpoint accessories, right? So these three. So this actually makes sense, right? You have a higher chance of getting the accessories here. And all this to say, so what I'm gonna do now is get rid of all of the pieces of gear that are gonna be complete crap. So anything four star, automatically getting sold because we're way beyond that. Anything from uh, grays to blues, we're gonna get rid of. I don't care what it is because we're just beyond that. We only keep epics and above and five stars and above. And from these, I'm gonna level these up and um, see what's worth keeping. I wanted to say that what's worth it to me and the way that I manage my gear is probably going to be different than you or a lot of people. The greater majority of people don't agree with the way that I manage my gear and that's completely fine. Um, but I have been managing my gear this way for as long as I can remember, especially with the way that I roll up my gear and it's been working out so far. So for me, you know, if it's working, it's not stupid but I don't suggest that you do it the way that I do it because I'm, I think I'm rather brutal with my gear. So, you know, 
don't follow what I'm doing or don't think that I know what's best because what's what I think is best for me may not be best for you. But these are the roles we got. Shit roles, shit roles. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Obviously flat. With flat, we're going to reroll that. Unless I just want to keep the speed, but I don't know about that. Uh, flat and bad rolls. Flat, bad rolls. Flat bad rolls <laughs> flat bad rolls you see what i mean all right let's see how this rolls oh nice we got a triple this is pretty good hp with a triple hp definitely keeping that and that's basically what i look for in terms of of gear um i'm looking for triple rolls now with certain pieces of gear like paid gear pay to win gear or very special pieces or just special pieces of gear in general I am more lenient with it, but for the most part, I'm only looking for triple rolls. And that's how I manage my other accounts. Like my main account, uh, I mean, I have to do a gear cleanse because gear cleansing takes forever. But the way that I do it is if it doesn't triple, I don't keep it because it's just, it's just astounding that they don't want to increase the total amount of space that we have. And say it like this, I'm gonna sell this because it's not it's not gonna be a, a triple. This is a triple, but it's triple shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to re-roll it. Uh, it's amazing they don't want to increase the amount of space that we have. And it's also amazing that we're still leasing our gear. Like we still have to pay to put on and take off gear. It's crazy. Selling that too. Here we rolled that up, we rolled that up. Pretty shit. Here we go. This is this one here. Obviously, it's like you can see that the majority of gear that I had was now sold. And I'm going to keep these pinpoint pieces just because, at least for now, they're limited time. And I can just get ores for them along the way. And eventually, I will be able to reroll them and potentially get something good. But even, even if not, like the pinpoint set itself still allows us to do some pretty gnarly things, right? Accuracy, speed, and then intercept. So even for those artifact sets that you guys saw, I'm probably going to keep those, even though they're not the stats that I want. And then accessories are always going to be good. The jewelry is always nice to have, even if it's not rolling the way I'd like to. But let me see how many pieces of pinpoint in total. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then let's go over here. Oops, I was right there. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. So, twenty-nine pieces of pinpoint gear that i'm keeping after spending 5000 energy and you know you could probably extrapolate that you yourself if you were in this situation you would have probably kept more than i have but for me out of around 5000 energy on this account you know that's uh but i mean that's just the way raid is right it's like the 3x savage event that i did i dropped over 10000 energy on it and for yeah, 3x Savage, I dropped 10,000 energy, and freaking I didn't I didn't get a lot of good pieces. I got like two or three, actually, and they weren't even godly pieces. They were they were just like good pieces, but nothing nothing absolutely great. And so yeah, you you kind of have to just take take it for what it is. If you don't really care about any of the other events, then I'd definitely be be going for this because it's a limited time event but like don't stress too much about it because we do have nine weeks to do it and i'm pretty sure that they might even incorporate it in a forge pass because you know that's a polarium move grab some of these we've got some good pieces of gear since we're right here let's go ahead and go down i'm going down the middle trying to get these glyphs the speed glyphs specifically and taking this chaos dust and then we're going to take this to re-roll we don't have enough for that never mind Nice. He put his hands up on my body, made the room.